What? 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 Hi, this is Valerie with At My Home. Today we're going to do a review of the new Wise Video Doorbell. Now we've got a lot of Wise products in our house. We have a lot of cameras. They're known for their really great high quality cameras, but this is the first time they've introduced a video doorbell. And here it is. We have it. And first thing I noticed is that it's very small. I think this is the smallest package I've ever seen on a video doorbell. Uh, so let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, so in here, we've got a couple of little boxes. I'll take these guys out. And here's the chime. And comes with a sticker. I backed the Wise doorbell. We have a lot of those stickers. And here's the quick start guide. So here it is now, the chime. That's clever packaging. So. The chime, I think, is almost bigger than the doorbell. Here it is. And one of these guys, this one, is the doorbell itself. Let me open it up. It's got a little arrow. Push it out from the bottom. And here is the doorbell. Wow, that's it. That is the Wise Video Doorbell. This thing is super light. Um, it's not the most attractive doorbell I've ever seen. I guess if you have a white house, it's going to go really great with your white walls. Um, but it's very functional. There's a little bell here, uh, and there's a camera. It's got a little cover on the camera there, and the little mounting screws to uh, install it. Now, it's important to know this is a video doorbell that only works with a wired video doorbell. There's no battery on here. There's also no storage card. There's no SD card that uh, comes with this doorbell, which is different from a lot of other Wise products. Um, but it does work with a wired doorbell. Uh, it only works with this chime. It actually doesn't make your regular doorbell ding. You need to use the chime with it. Um, and inside this box, is some more accessories. So here, this is a wedge. Uh, in case you need to mount your doorbell at an angle, you can use this little wedge uh, to mount it correctly. Okay, so the Wise Video Doorbell comes with a few wires. So there's these two wires that are pretty much identical. And these will help you extend out the wires from your actual doorbell to connect it up if you need them. And then this wire right here, this is the Chime Bypass wire. So you can't use your regular doorbell chime with the Wise doorbell. You use this chime that comes with it instead. And this wire will uh, basically electronically bypass your normal chime, so it only chimes out of here. All right, so in the rest of this bag, these are some wire nuts in case you need to use those to extend the wires to attach your doorbell, or in case you need to use them in the with the chime bypass wire. And then here's some mounting screws here, and they also gave you a couple anchors in case you need them. And by the way, this wedge guy, uh, this helps you mount your doorbell. So if you just need it to mount flat, you can just use this flat piece right here. If you need to extend it out so that you can get a better angle on your viewing, you can use this wedge. Okay, so we've got the doorbell installed already. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how it works. So I've got the Wise app right here. So you can see right at the top, it says Courtyard Doorbell. So I'll just click on that and there's the picture. It's a really nice clear picture. It's vertical so you can see um, from top to bottom. So you get a nice view of the whole porch here with the doorbell. You can actually switch it. It's an HD right now but you can also change that to uh, SD or 480p. Now this would be really great if you have a hard time with the, your Wi-Fi connection at your doorbell. Uh, we're going to leave it on HD. Uh, looks great. So let me go down here through the bottom so you can see what all these things are. So this brings it up in full screen so this makes it easier on your phone to see the full picture and you can move it you know around so you can see what's going on there let me go back to regular view and then there's the sound so with this little green button on you can hear the sound going on outside I'll mute that with the microphone you can talk to the people out there in live view so I'll turn those both guys off um, so let me move over to these little dots so this shows you here, uh, you can take a snapshot with this little picture and that saves it to your picture roll. You can also record a quick video, so I'll do that. So we're recording a video of what's going on right now. 
So in a few seconds, we'll stop it. And the recording has stopped and uh, you can actually save this to your device. It saves it into the camera roll. Let me go ahead and save that. Now this is for night vision. It's got a little moon. So if you do that, you can turn the night vision um, on automatic. So it just figures out if it needs it or not, or you can turn it on or off if you want to do that. And then this last thing here, this lets you see all of the videos or recordings that you made that are saved to your camera roll, but they're related to your wise cameras here. So you can see all the videos that you've saved and all the photos you've taken. You can see that just the one I took just recently and that video I just took, they're both stored there too. So let's go back here. So that's uh, the main screen. Let me close this guy here. And then over here, you can also uh, see we can, we can uh, set this doorbell up and make some changes if we want to. So here you can change the event recording. So you can have this recording all the time, uh, all during the day, or you can actually put that on a schedule if you only want to record it at night or during the day. And uh, the detected feature is only, it's only going to record if it detects something. Let's go back. Okay, so here's where you can set up your notifications. So you can turn on and off all notifications. And then if you have the Cam Plus uh, subscription, that's optional with the doorbell, you can also be notified when there's any kind of wise AI events. And that means if it's uh, detected a person or a package or a vehicle, um, or you can just get notified. Uh, so you can turn these on and off. If you don't want all other motion events, you only want the wise AI events. You can turn that on or off. Uh, the detection settings. So here's where you can set the motion sensitivity. So we actually have a, a tree that kind of sets off the motion detector a lot. So we could turn that down to a little bit lower sensitivity and that would help with that. And the advanced settings. This is where you can customize the night vision. Uh, so uh, we already have it on auto, but you could turn that on or off also from here in the advanced settings. It's also got a little um, light which uh, it's kind of hard to see right here. But there's actually a light that comes on and that actually will come on anytime, like it wants to do a recording. So it's kind of like your flash on the camera. Um, or you, so in this setting, you can actually turn that white light LED on and off. Um, so if you turn it on, it's gonna turn on and dim light uh, to record a clear image. I don't really like that. I've seen it, so I already know that I want that off. Um, and you can also <laughs> decide whether you want to have the WISE logo in your recordings, um, whether you want to have the timestamp watermark, so that's handy to know when something has been recorded, whether or not you want to record sound. All right, so that's all the advanced settings. And everything else here, extended devices, schedules, automation, share. This is all typically uh, with the things that you can do within the WISE app itself. So you can share the doorbell camera with someone else in your household and you can set up schedules and automations with all of your cameras, uh, including the doorbell camera and the WISE app. Okay, so down here at the bottom, it's a really handy way to see some recent events. So you can see uh, at 134, there was a motion event and you can just scroll back and you can watch that. It'll play it back for you on the timeline. That's real easy to use. See that uh, 1258, there was a person detected. I can watch that here and it'll play that right back for me. So that's a really easy way to see the different events that are happening uh, on your doorbell. So let's go back to live view. Here we are back at Live View. So now let's take a look at how the doorbell actually works in action. Watch Courtyard Doorbell Wise. Okay. The Wise Video Doorbell works with the Alexa Show, just like their other cameras. Well, with one exception. Since the doorbell video is taller than wide and the Alexa Show is wider than tall, Alexa presents the Wise Video sideways. But as you can see, it is a clear picture. Hopefully Wise and Amazon can work out a fix. We tested recording the doorbell video to the iPhone camera roll, as well as downloading the captured videos that WISE records to the cloud. As you can see, the picture downloaded from the cloud is not as clear. This is because the image recorded to the iPhone is 1296 by 1728, and the downloaded cloud image is only 360 by 480. We asked WISE about this. They stated via Twitter, This is something we're working on improving. Your clips are actually recorded and stored at 1296 by 1728, but the app's event page doesn't stream it in HD. 
Please be on the lookout for an update from us in the future to address this. Now let's see how the camera works in different scenarios. We are showing these tests in actual time so you can see just what it's like. First we test ringing the doorbell. The WISE doorbell immediately notifies the iPhone and pressing on the notification brings up the live video fairly quickly. We ended up enlarging the video in the app using the full screen option. Notice that the doorbell captured the motion well before the doorbell press. The recorded video was identified as person detection, along with the length of the video at 27 seconds. Hi, uh, yes, I have a package But even though we have Cam Plus enabled, the recording did end before we were done. On the chair? After a nine second gap, it recorded another 18 yeah. seconds. So overall, the WISE video doorbell did a good job here. Now we test the doorbell detecting motion without a button press. The doorbell noticed the motion right away and started recording. This time, not only did it identify motion was a person, but also identified a package. The first capture was only 29 seconds. However, it took a long time before the phone notification occurred, and the notification only said person detected. After another gap, it captured another 15 seconds. Hmm. Oh, hi Um, no, I think I can just leave it on the porch. Oh, okay, that would be great. Thank you. You're welcome. Sound-wise, the volume was good at both the camera and the app, though sometimes choppy. One feature of the doorbell is the light, which comes on when it detects motion in low light. For this test, we turned off the light in the settings. The night picture was very good, and the doorbell even noticed a person and the package on the ground. The notification did show a person was detected, and the app entered live mode quickly. This was the longest capture recording of all the tests at 37 seconds. It only missed the final seconds of motion. However, while the image was good, it took 22 seconds for the notification, so there was little chance of deterring the package thief. Hey, what are you doing with my package? Hey, what? Oh, hey, what? Oh. We turned on the doorbell light and tested again. When the light came on, the picture showed a sepia color, which doesn't seem to add any value. Plus, it only recorded 15 seconds, even though motion kept going much longer. It took 19 seconds before we got a notification, about the same as before. The live view seemed to jump a bit at one point, which may have been from trying to turn on the sound and talk with the confusing icons. We recommend leaving the light off for the best picture. Hey, drop that package. What? 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 Drop that package. Our final test was the package only test. While the Cam Plus AI is supposed to detect packages, it only seems to detect packages if it also detects a person, even with several attempts to trigger the doorbell. To install the video doorbell, just add a device from the home screen and select cameras and WISE Video Doorbell. The app will walk you through installing the doorbell. Remember to turn off the breaker to your doorbell before starting. In the first step, you bypass your mechanical chime completely by removing the wires and connecting them with the included bypass wire. Then you remove your old doorbell and mount the wall plate. You attach the flat plate or the flat plate and the wedge for a better viewing angle. Then attach your wires to the WISE video doorbell. Use the extension wires provided if needed. Now, before you attach the doorbell to the plate, turn the power back on. The bell symbol on the doorbell should flash yellow. If not, press the reset button on the back. You then enter your router info and scan the QR code in the app with the doorbell's camera. Once it finishes, name your doorbell. You will be reminded about your free trial of Cam Plus. No, you don't have a choice. The trial is nice so you can see if you like its features. We think Cam Plus is necessary for the doorbell to be useful. Now you can put the doorbell on the wall plate. Finally, you plug in the supplied chime and press the chime's reset button until the light flashes three times. The chime will pair up to the doorbell. 
If you want to change the sound, just go to Extended Devices in the Doorbell Settings page and test out the various sounds they have provided. Now you're done. Enjoy your Wise Video Doorbell. Overall, the camera is easy to install and as a video doorbell works okay, especially for the price. The lack of an SD card is a disappointment, especially if you're used to other Wise cameras. The Wise Video Doorbell is a good addition if you have a Wise enabled home and are willing to pay for their Cam Plus service. Thanks for watching our video today. We've included more information as well as links where to buy in the description box below. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can find out the next time we do a new video. And for more smart home stories, please visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.